guys and welcome back to my channel and a happy new year i know i have not come on here and spoken since last year which is crazy but do you know what january's just been a bit of a strange month because it was meant to be a really quiet chilled month and i thought i'd be well ahead of vlogging but it actually turned out to be quite a busy month so i just thought i'd come on and catch you all up on what's been going on inform you all um of what the future plans are <laughs> um and what yeah, what we're doing basically and what we have been doing. So Albie himself is having a nice chilled holiday. He has been for the last couple of months. He will come back into work maybe next month, I think. Boo's just living his best life. And this one here is, we are chasing our show jumping dream pretty much. We have been out um, training a lot, sort of getting ahead of this 2024, sorry, I couldn't even say that then, getting ahead of the 2024 season. Um, we wasn't actually going to do it this early. I was actually going to give Krem um, some time off and then get back into work like next month and then start competing when the summer arrives. But I saw, well, you see in my Christmas vlog with Sarah, she was like, we're going out in January. And I was like, mm, not sure we are. To myself and said like, if I start now, I'll get ahead of the summer and I'll be able to be sort of fully prepared, ready for the summer shows. Whereas if I start in the summer, I'm still going to be learning. Um, and nervous so yeah I'm starting now <laughs> basically I'm starting now so I have been in full training progress with Krem he has been having lots of lessons with my dressage instructor so working on his flat work um, which has been really really good and really helped him um, I've also obviously just been lunging to lots of turnout getting him moving um, thanks Krem we went out jumping Friday evening in in an indoor arena because that's where our first competition is going to be in an indoor. Um, I'll attach some clips here. I was very, very nervous for Friday evening because I have never really wanted to a ride in this arena that I rode in. For some personal reasons, I watched a very close person to me have a bad accident in this arena. Krem, darling. Um, and it's always put me off and it's never got out of my mind. <clears throat> but I needed to get some indoor practice and it's the closest indoor arena to me. So I said to myself, I'm just going to try. Just going to forget about it. And you know what? He actually jumped amazing. And I'm really, really pleased with myself. I had a wobble when I come... It come I went with Sarah. She rode one of her horses and I rode one of mine. We had a joint lesson. And it come to my turn. And I was having to jump the jump that my... It was actually my cousin who had an accident. She fell off at. And I had a wobble. And I said to my instructor, I can't do it. I, there's something about that jump that wall I just can't ride past it I'm sorry and he was like okay let's just take it slow so I come over the first fence and we landed really straight and prepared and I just felt like I could do it and I just come to the jump and he didn't spook and he just jumped straight over it and I was so happy with myself I could have cried and I was like oh I've just got over something that I was so nervous about and please darling <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was a really big achievement Friday and a really good prep for what we're about to what I'm about to tell you we're doing. Um, so I'm really pleased with him Friday. You jumped very well, didn't you, boy? You're jumping very, very good at the minute. Um, and I'm feeling very sort of well, a lot more ready for the 2024 season. Um, so I have been away skiing for a week, which has been really, really fun. I don't know if you've seen on my social channels, my Instagram, and TikTok. But yeah, I've been skiing. So he had a break for a week, um, but now I'm back and we are off to our first stay away show and it is a bs show because we are officially bs i don't know if it's bsj bsj bs it used to be bsj but i don't think it is anymore we are registered so we are going affiliated because i've been thinking about it for a long long time and i really wanted to affiliate this year and i was going to start off at some unaffiliated shows but I've decided to go straight into Affiliated because I found that he found it really hard to match the distances of Unaffiliated because obviously you're competing against ponies and horses so it wasn't that easy to ride if I'm honest. Do you mind not biting my coat because you're being patient? Um, and it's quite hard competing against like children and ponies as well because I jump the smaller classes so I'm always in with the ponies and the children. <laughs> And I just think it's a lot better for us to just go full steam ahead and see how it goes because Affiliated actually do do clear rounds that are 80 centimetres, which is the height we jump. British Novice, which is 90, which is the height we jump. So it's doable. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be more frightening. It's going to be more professional as such. Um, but I just thought if I start, then I'm ahead of the summer. If I hate it, I just won't do it. But I've registered. And it also helps because 
have you seen my friend Sarah she's out competing all the time um, and she's affiliated so for us to actually go to shows together I need to be affiliated so it makes sense that we always go together and do all this together so yeah I'm going back to where I went last year I don't know if you remember me going to a camp last year in Norfolk and a show that's where I'm going back to because my instructor's actually running a training day on Thursday so we're going up Thursday having a good training session and um, which will be fun we're staying the night so first day away of 2024 and then Friday is our first BS show. I've not entered my classes yet, but I'm aiming to do the clear round, which I said is 80, and then the British novice, which is 90. Um, yeah, you say yes, is that what we're doing? Fingers crossed, fingers, toes, body, everything is crossed, that it's gonna go well. I am quite nervous, but I'm also quite excited, to be honest. I'm not as nervous as I was last year. I feel like I'm a lot more prepared and ready. I feel, that whatever happens happens i need to forget about what people think what people are watching me all i want is to be able to enter the ring him not really do any napping so as long as he goes in the ring happy and good we get around 12 fences i don't care if i knock every pole i don't care about winning i'm not at that stage at all yet this is just experience just for like four experience purposes and come out all in one piece and i will be the happiest girl alive so that's our plan, um, but I thought I'd take you along this week on like getting prepared for our first day away of 2024. So today, I've got this Monday today, we're going on Thursday. So I've come down the yard, Krem's had the weekend off because he worked really hard last week. We had two dressage flat work lessons and a jump lesson. So he had the weekend off. Today, we're gonna have a good lunch, a nice little stretch to start the week. Um, yeah, okay, there's no need to be so intrusive. Um, we're gonna have a nice lunch today. Then I've got Alice, the back girl, coming to give him a nice massage so he's ready for the weekend. Um, and then tomorrow, I'm potentially gonna go on a hack. Wednesday, we'll have another flat work lesson and then we're off Thursday. But obviously, we've got lots of packing to do, bathing because it's showtime in the winter, which is not really ideal. And this is why I didn't want to show in the winter, but here we are doing what I said I wasn't gonna do. Um, so yeah, we've got all that to do. So I thought I'd just take you along. Nice like, little catch up and something exciting to start the year off with. January's like, as much as it was quite busy, it's not been that exciting. So I just didn't feel the need to vlog and haven't really had the chance to pick up my camera. But now is the right time and I hope you are all excited as we are to come on this new journey with us as affiliated show jumpers. We are just as nervous as each other, aren't we? No, you're pretty chilled about it. You love it. Don't you? I just hope you don't go spooky on me. Who doesn't go spooky on me and we get around all 12 fences, I'm gonna be crying and smiling from ear to ear. So yeah, stay tuned for this whole journey of this year. It's gonna be a fun year, hopefully, fingers crossed. Please all pray for me that it goes well. And let's crack on with getting show ready. Let's get you lunch. Good boy. Lunged. I'm just finishing mucking out. Hey, Zelfs. Come say hello. I haven't been on here for ages. Say hi. Say hi. It's a little muddy mess. Um, and Alice is here doing Krem's back. Are you enjoying your relaxation, relaxation spa sesh? Releasing hopefully all his tension.
I show you the top of his neck here, you've got the back of his jaw yeah. and then his first vertebra here. When this junction gets tight, you've got a lot going on. You've got your TMJ, which is your connection of your jaw. You've got your first vertebra attached to the skull. Mm -hmm. You've got your tongue attachment at the bottom. So there's so much going on in that junction. Yeah. When this space gets blocked, when we're asking for that lateral, good boy, that lateral bend, when that's tight, you can see now it's released, how he's bringing his head round and his head yeah. straight. When it's tight, what happens is that junction gets stuck and instead what he'll do is tilt. Yeah. And then what happens is when we're riding, when we're asking them to come round, because they're not actually re releasing through their neck, this muscle overworks, it blocks into the shoulder and the pectoral, and then what happens is then they push down into the shoulder. So you're almost getting that false yeah. bend through, you're not getting a real nice contact yeah. through the rain yeah, yeah. because everything's just getting a little bit stuck so it, it's not that there's anything wrong it's just that posture and getting him feeling a little bit straighter and opening up this junction will mean that he will move his neck and his shoulder more independently yeah. Good boy. and you can see now he's already like settling into yeah. it a little bit more Good boy. Oh. Baby. ponies are waiting patiently to be turned out whilst Krem has his back sorted. Say hello everyone. <laughs> so cute. Boo boo. Oh. Put in bad eh? <laughs> Alice has just finished. Um, and look at Kremi in his new hood. <laughs> I've just got this hood for Kremi. It's a turnout hood from Snuggy Hoods as you can see on that label. He really wants to go out, so he's been a bit impatient now because his brothers have gone out without him. I know, darling. But I just want to quickly show you. It's fully waterproof and completely stops him from getting muddy. So it covers all his neck, his ears, his face, obviously apart from his eyes, his mane, which is always muddy. So I'm hoping this is going to be the new secret to clean horses in the winter, fingers crossed. Because Krem's quite a clean horse apart from his mane. The only part of his body that he gets muddy in the winter is his mane and his neck. And it's sort of pulling his mane out, me having to keep brushing the mud out. But obviously, now I'm starting to compete, I need him to stay as clean as possible. So, how cool does he look in his new hood? We're going to put it to the test now and see how, how clean he stays. Off he goes, he's still not rolled. <laughs> Which normally he rolls right at the front of the field, but he's off to see his brother. And hopefully I'm going to have some clean horse when he comes back in. Look at this, I've come to get him in. He's had a roll. Look at the mud that obviously would be all over him and all over his mane. I think you're nice and clean under there, aren't you? Hello, hi. This is the trouble I have at the minute, the jealousy between them all. I can't do something with one and not the other. So everyone has to come in at the same time. Everyone has to have something done at the same time together, don't we? Then look at Boo right now. Be inspired on by him over there. Seems like I'm coming with you, Mum. These two that best buds and then also have a little play fight, so we don't know if they love or hate each other. <laughs> Krim, you look very funny in that thing. <laughs> look at your ears. <laughs> Can't help but laugh at him. You do look cute though, Krim, eh? Very, very cute. Very cute. Hi guys, it is now Tuesday um, and I'm just at the yard doing my feeds for this evening um, and I thought I'd start on some prep. So I'm going to make some hay nets to take with to the show. I've got a couple of like extra large nets, I just ordered this off Amazon, um, but it's like pretty long as you can see, it's just an extra large net, it was only about £7. I'm hoping it's going to be quite big and then I won't have to take loads of hay nets, I can just take a couple of big ones. Um, so yeah, that's my prep for hay because the showground only supplies haylage and I don't want to put creme on haylage because I just think it fizzes them up a little bit sometimes and it's just, I've never tried it on him before so I don't want to try it at a show. Um, and he's happy on hay here so there's no need. Also I'm going to make some feeds. I just want to show you an idea that I've sort of got. <laughs> These were left over from Christmas and I said to my mum, don't throw them. I think I'll be able to make some use out of them. But obviously I'm away quite a lot as well so I'm always making feeds up. But I thought for shows... These are actually quite good because they've got lids so I can put my feed in, put the lid on and it won't spill anywhere and then I just chuck it into the feed bucket when I'm at the show. So whilst making my feeds for this evening I'm going to fill these up 
um, and I'll let you know how they feel and hopefully there's enough space because they are they're not the biggest of buckets as you can see but we'll see if I can fit it all in okay plan changed slightly <laughs> the whole feed didn't fit in these so I'm taking my pre-workout feeds in these which is a scoop of chaff some garlic and um, carrots because obviously creme has to have chaff every time he's ridden so I've got one for first day one for second day and then one to travel home to set his, to make sure like his stomach's not empty and then his feeds are in here so he's got his dinner and then I've put a bucket on top with his breakfast and then a bucket there just to cover and then I can obviously tip his chaff into this spare bucket so yeah I think that's what I need to check I'm only going for one night so it's pretty pretty easy I'm hoping this is all going to be enough and work out to plan these are tonight's dinners of course I'm going to make my hay nets um, like I said it's only Tuesday so um, I've still got tomorrow as well but I'll be bathing and everything tomorrow so I just want to get like the little jobs done I'm going to try and pack some stuff as well like his boots and all that jazz that needs packing and hopefully I'm feeling a little bit more organised but I also feel like I'm too organised I, I don't think I've got I think I forgot everything because <laughs> it all feels too chill good morning gang it is day three and it is Wednesday which is day before D-Day so we go tomorrow to our first BS stay away training and show um, I don't know how I feel to be honest I've got a lot going on this whole weekend on Saturday I've got a wedding so I'm a little bit like my focus isn't fully on the fact that I'm about to go and do an affiliated show well I'm about to go do a show let alone an affiliated show I'm sort of trying to forget about the affiliated thing um, but it's kind of sinking in now and I feel a little bit sick about the whole situation <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to stay chill. It's not really happening. Um, yeah, I need to sort of finish off packing. As you can see in the back, I've been feed shopping. I need to stop up on feed. So obviously the ponies are staying at home. They need to be make sure they've got everything they need. It's not an easy job having three horses. Um, I don't know if it'd be easier to, to take take all of them away or not. But yeah. Anyway, today's plan, it is 8.30am and I'm on the way to the stables because I've got a dressage lesson at 9. So my dressage instructor comes, she rides creme for the first half of our lesson, I ride for the second half. It's sort of a way of me getting him like schooled as well because I love that she, when she rides him, like she's totally transforming him at the minute. Um, but I like to just get on at the end for like a little feel and she gives me a few little tips and tricks and stuff. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, obviously get the horses done for the day, turn them out in the field. Um, I'm gonna wheel my hay nets and feeds and stuff up to the lorry. Sarah's not at the yard today because it's just working, so I'll just leave them somewhere safe. Um, I'm sure, no one's gonna nick a hay net, but anyway, <laughs> um, you never know these days. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. Take them up, then I'm gonna go home to sort myself out. I need to pack for myself. I'm waiting for some important parcels as well, so I'm really hoping they're gonna arrive today so I can get them packed. Um, then I'll go back to the yard later on and bath when Krim comes in from the field and dreading. He doesn't really like bathing, he's a bit of a fidget anyway. Um, and I've also got to try and make this hot water tap thing work that I've brought. I don't know, it's just stressing me out. <laughs> it's all so long. Um, yeah, and then I'll also meet Sarah later on. We'll fully pack up the lorry, get everything ready for tomorrow morning because it's going to be a very early start. Probably going to be leaving when it's dark, to be truthful, because it's winter. Um, we also need to go food shopping to get some food for us, for ourselves. So yeah, a busy, busy, busy day. But starting off early, going to get these horses done as quick as possible so I can get back to sort myself out at home. And then I haven't got to keep going back and forth to the yard and spending my whole day out of the yard, which it feels like it's going to be. Um, yeah, plan is tomorrow leaving probably. I, would, I haven't actually conversed with Sarah on this, but I'm guessing we're going to leave at like 7, 7.15 first lesson is at 11 10 which is Sarah's first so yeah we need to sort of be there I would say no later than like quarter past 10 so like an hour before the lesson just to sort of get ourselves sorted get the horses settled my lesson actually is until 3 30 in the afternoon so creme has got a long old time to chill out and relax but Sarah's straight on so we want to make sure her horse gets time to sort of realize where she is get our stuff unpacked get beds laid and all that jazz um yeah so all go 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 um I'll show you how i get on this morning and today take you as long take you along as much as possible um and hopefully i don't forget anything i need to make i've got a little checklist on my phone that i'm going to be ticking off as i as i go along um it's quite good going with someone else though as well because 
I know that if I forget something, Sarah's got a lot of stuff in her lorry. I'm sure I'm not gonna go without, so I would be able to make do. Um, and same for her, if she forgets anything, I'm sure I will have alternatives for her. So yeah, it's good not going alone for that reason. So let's get packing and organizing. My goodness, I feel sick. Morning, how are we? We're very zoomed in. What's happened here? Oh, hello. Hi. Very sleepy today, aren't we? Mummy's got her breakfast. Oh, where's little man? Hi, Poppet. Hi. Show everyone your smile. <laughs> Okay, Crummy, we need to get you ready for your lesson. Yeah? Oh, I was like, no, mummy, I don't want to. We're all tacked up, being very patient and waiting for our instructor to arrive. Please ignore the state of my horse. He is going to have a bath before we go anywhere. <laughs> and look at his brow bunny scalp. Look at his scratch on his face that he has done. I mean, I'm praying with every inch of my body that it's gonna grow back. There are some hairs already growing back, so I hope it does. Um, but yeah, I don't know how we did it, but we did it when I was away. Yeah, just waiting for our instructor. We're early for once. Normally we're late, aren't we? Yes. It's very cold this morning. Very cold, isn't it? Stuff. It's time to turn the ponies out. I leave Krim with my instructor for like 20 minutes. And then I go up there, watch a bit of their session and then I get on. So just while I leave them, I get the ponies out, get some of my job started, like hay nets and stuff. Um, and then I go up and ride. Yeah? Yes. Are you ready? Oh, we're not walking past the feed bags. Come on, you're okay, darling. You can do it. It's a big feed bag. Come on. Come on, don't do anything silly. You're so scared of your own shadows, aren't you? Come on. Come on, darling. Clever boy. <laughs> the dramatics. The dramatics. We're ready to go out. We're ready to go out. Can mummy do this with one hand? Let's see. Mm, not sure she can do the buckle. Not sure she can do the buckle. Go of my coach. Honestly, this horse has broke my Ecra dry. Broke my zip. Spit all my zips off. It's just so naughty sometimes. Aren't you? Right, come on. Ponies are out in the field. Boo's next door. In his little field there. Gonna get some hay nets done and then go check up on Krimi.
out in the field with his brothers now. Boo's there. You can hear my electric clicking. <laughs> um, he's out in his hood to keep him nice and clean. It's amazing, this thing. Hi, guys. I have just got home. Um, ignore my funky socks. What a Christian doesn't have funky socks, let's be honest. Um, horses are all done, had a great lesson, Crummy worked lovely for my instructor and we did some very nice transitions when I got on. Um, but I've just got home to the parcels of all parcels. This is what I've been waiting for. Thank goodness it arrived in time, my dad was home to um, collect it. I'm just sitting in my kitchen by the way, hence why there's like so much mess around me and by, behind me. Um, so yeah. All of some important bits from Lemieux. So I'm going to open up this parcel and show you what I've got. We're opening it together. I, obviously, I know what I ordered, um, but we're seeing it for the first time in real life together. But there is no feeling quite like opening a new Lemieux parcel. You know what, as well, I didn't actually really order anything for myself, so there's no like fancy outfits in here for me. It's actually all for the horse, of course. So, Mr. Prem is a very lucky boy. I'm not sure if he even realises that. Um, but, yeah, because you know, who has time for prioritising ourselves these days? These horses are too lucky and spoiled. Okay, ooh, exciting. Okay, so. Start. Well, oh, I have got something for myself actually. I forgot I did order something for myself. Let's start with. Firstly, this is actually for Albie. This is a bib to go underneath his rugs because I've noticed some of his winter rugs are rubbing him and he's freshly clipped. Well, he's not freshly clipped actually, he was clipped back in like October, but he clips very short still. Um, so obviously, the rubbing's very much close to his skin and yeah, I don't want him to get too rubbed. So I've had to put cremes on him at the minute, but it's too it's too big for him. It's like hanging off of him, bless him. So yeah, this is for Albie. Um, next up, there is something for me. So these are the new Lemur. Let me show you them. They are the new Drytex waterproof white breeches, basically. So, oh, they look so comfy. So obviously they're a lovely pure white um, and they've got sticky bum because I always need sticky bum um, and they are literally fully fleece lined and thermal inside. So very, very perfect for obviously the winter um, competing and they are like a really thick waterproof material. So as you can see, if you go on Lemieux's Instagram or website, it'll show you sort of how they're demonstrated and how you can literally spill anything down them and it just wipes off. So I thought this is perfect for this weekend because it's going to be quite chilly. So these will keep me nice and warm. So there is a present for me in there and I totally forgot. But I think, I feel like everything else is probably for Mr. Krem. If I'm, if I'm right in saying that. Next up is, this is a hood for Krem. A lycra hood that looks like this. Obviously, you see me having my turnout hood from Snuggy Hoods. Um, this is more of a, I'll put it on of an evening, at the sh like the night before the show, to keep him clean for the show. So tomorrow night when we arrive and he, before he goes to bed, I'll stick this on underneath his stable rug just to try and stop him from sort of laying in any stable like poo or anything and getting stable stains. Hopefully, this will keep him quite clean. Um, but yeah, it's just a stretchy black hood for Krem. Next, I have got this lovely rug that I'm going to travel in, travel him in, and um, probably put on after we've worked, and, so that he can cool down um, and not get too cold or get a chill. But this is the Climatex quilted rug. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I've looked at this for a long time, and I was very torn whether to get burgundy or navy for Creme because he looks so lovely in burgundy, um, and I've got a summer sheet from Lemieux for him in burgundy, which is so nice. But I just feel like one navy hides a lot of stains so if he slept in the burgundy one that got poo stains or something it's going to be more visible um this will stay cleaner also we do have a color and our color is brown but we have colors mixed in and to be honest most the most color that is mixed in is navy so i feel like navy and brown is sort of our thing um and i haven't really got much else burgundy so i was just going to be getting a burgundy rug for the color so to be matchy matchy i went navy but I think I went for a safe option, to be fair, because um, it's lovely and smart. But yeah, I'm going to travel him in this 
and hopefully this will be a perfect rug for like like i said after he's worked after our lessons maybe when he's waiting around at the show and stuff but yeah a rug for crimmy next up i have got this now this is a bit of a special half pad so last week i had the saddle fitter out and she came to look at creme saddle to see how we're looking and We've worked out that basically his saddle, he's very uneven currently, and the only way his saddle's ever going to fit him is if, for, for currently anyway, until he fully fills out, is if he has one of these on. Um, so this, what do they call this? They call this the Lemure Pro Sorb Half Pad. I think, yeah, half pad. So basically, it's actually brown as well. Um, it's very soft inside, very, very soft. But you can basically remove the foam from all the areas so he needs like foam in certain areas and foam in and no foam in other areas so i need to look back at what my saddle fitter did and take out the foam that he doesn't need and hopefully that will even out his saddle but yeah this is going to be our new half pad that we're going to be wearing all the time to be honest because i need to for our saddle to fit correctly um but yeah it's a lovely brown colour, they do it in quite a few colours, but it's really, really clever the way it works because like I said, if your saddle is not fitting correctly and you feel like the back needs more padding than the front, take the front pads out, leave the backs in, it should even it out. It's very, very clever. And it comes with extra padding, so I'm not sure if this is just extra padding for wear and tear or it's different sizing, I'm not sure. But they're very, very soft, so I'm excited to use that. Um, next up, I didn't know if I was going to get this or not because I don't know if it was sold out, but here it is. I've never really put like a fancy um, brow band on creme until I see this on the Lemieux website the other day and I was like, oh, he has to have this. So this is the, this is actually from their Twilight range. I don't know if you remember from not last summer, actually the summer before, but this is obviously, it's in leather, brown leather, but it's in a gorgeous, like grey, chromey um, diamond. So it's not too blingy in your face, but it's really pretty. So that's gonna go onto his bridle um, and obviously, very, very clever. I don't know if anyone remembers the old days and when brow bands didn't have these special clips and you have to take your whole bridle apart to put your new brow band on. Nowadays, you just unclip and clip on, which is just so, so clever. Because I remember as a young little girl, I could never take the whole bridle apart because I never knew how to put it all back together. So I used to, have to get an adult. And I know I was, that, I was that dreaded child that used to come along and be like, can you please change my brow band for me? Because I want a pretty one. So here we are. Very, very well done to whoever invented that. Next is this, which is actually for me as well. I forgot I did get a couple of things, but not many. Um, this is a ear warmer with a little hole at the back that you can put your ponytail through. So I actually went skiing last week and every day underneath my skiing helmet, I wore this fleece black uh, ear warmer just from Amazon. And I was gonna take it actually to the show, but obviously it hasn't got the hole for your hairband. So for me to wear it, I have, I'd have to put my ponytail low because I'm not going to wear my hair down with my helmet on. But this is actually designed for riding. So if you can see the lady there, she's got her ponytail through it. So I'll be able to hopefully wear this underneath my helmet while riding to keep my ears warm. Um, so I'm very happy about this because, like I said, it was a dream skiing when I had my headband on underneath. But I had my hair down skiing, so it was all good. Whereas riding, I need my hair in a ponytail. So perfect for that. Next, last thing for me, um, definitely is last thing for me, I've got these. I've been wanting these for a while because I do not like cold hands. I do not like wearing cold gloves in the winter when I ride either because I just feel like the classic leather gloves don't keep your hands warm. Um, but I've heard really good things about these. These are the Polar Tech Lemieux right. I don't know if they're riding gloves or just like everything gloves, but they definitely are for riding because they've got like non-sticky, no, not non-sticky, sticky, like grip here um and they've also got finger touch for your phone but yeah the polar tech warm gloves and they're very very fleecy inside so i will be taking these with me to ride and probably be wearing the whole time i'm there to keep me warm so that is the last thing for me we've also got a cheeky little calendar in here i got one of these last year from them yeah they're so so good because i can stick them up in my storage it's like a big big calendar and it's actually got all of like the huge horse shows on them. So you sort of know what's coming up. So like Royal International, um, International Horse Show. It shows you when everything's coming up. So I'm going to stick that up. A few more items left. We've got this. So I've always just used a normal hay, hay net to travel creme with. But 
Flamio's got very fancy pretty ones. So I've got their new colour spruce hay net for him to be his new travel hay net because he's travel head colour is also spruce. So I thought this was a pretty hay net for that. Um, also, this is a little gift from Lemur, which I'm very, very grateful for. They sent in a Lemur saddle pad in white, velvet, uh, white suede, sorry, in close contact range, which I'm very excited to start wearing at all of our shows. I think it's gonna look super smart also. Um, so I may wear this on Friday at our show. It's so gorgeous, it's got the Lemur um, embroidery. So thank you to Lemur for that also, a little special gift. And these are my last two products that I'm very excited about. So recently I realized when jumping Creme, when he's coming over the jump, he's starting to smack his chest. So I have never had a stud girth um, and needed one now. I'm starting to jump a lot more. So I've got the brown gel tech Lemur um, stud girth. I've already got one of the gel tech atomical girths from Lemur and they are the most softest things ever. The gel inside is just so, so soft. Um, so yeah, this is the stud girth, which I'm very excited to start wearing, but I've got something that goes with that, which makes it very pretty and very cosy. So this is the sheepskin cover for the stud girth that you can put on to the girth to make it look fluffy. Let me add it now and I'll show you what it actually looks like. on how amazing does that look so obviously makes it super comfy for creme also looks very nice i love the look of sheepskin because our boots are sheepskin as well so all be matchy matchy but yeah super soft for him and should protect the girth also but yeah a new girth which i am very 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 excited about and excited to use so a huge thank you to lemur for this beautiful parcel i'm so grateful for all this stuff um, and looking forward to taking it all away with me and getting lots of use out of it this weekend. Okay guys, it's bath time. Um, I bought this little gadget on eBay. This is the company that I used, uh, I got it from. But it's basically a way of getting hot water. So you connect your hose pipe to it, you get a gas bottle and it basically gives you hot water so I can bath in the winter. I don't know how it's gonna go because Krem really hates bathing so I'm dreading this whole situation but We'll report back and see how we go. Hopefully we can just get a clean main towel and legs. <laughs> and I'll be happy. guys we are all bathed we are in Albi we are in our dry rug drying him off he was actually a very good boy let me do all his legs his towel his belly his chest everything the only thing he didn't like was his mane so my friend helped me and held him but we got it all done I've got a nice clean horse in his little rug bless him these dry rugs are amazing guys very much recommend um he's gonna go in and chill now while I load the lorry up we are in Tesco getting our food shot, guys. Glamorous as ever. We're going for a night and we've got enough food for like <laughs> three weeks. Hi guys, sorry for the bad quality of the video. Um, we've just got back from Tesco and I've just come to the boys to bed. I've just put this stretch hood on Creme to keep him clean for the night. Um, he's very much wanting his dinner. Sarah and then I'm off home, finish packing myself and get an early night before I start. 
we are leaving at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, so pretty early. Um, so we've got to get everything packed up tonight and sorted, ready for the morning. It's pretty dark now, so I don't even know if I'm going to show you much of packing up, but hopefully I will. If I don't. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed having us back and I hope you enjoy coming along. I'll be. <laughs> hope you enjoy coming along this new journey with us. Very nervous but very excited for our first proper stay away. BS affiliated. Let's see how it goes. See you in the next one guys. The next one we will be at the show and you will see what happens. Bye!